Hi guys, welcome back to the Arter server. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a Broadcom HBA card that is a counterfeit card that almost fooled me. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I've made several videos showing you guys how to identify counterfeit uh, LSI cards on the market. And uh, I've made it a point not to sell anything like that, any counterfeit cards in my eBay store and so I know a lot of you guys who want the genuine thing uh, rely and trust me for that. And so, you know, I've maintained, you know, that policy of not uh, selling any kind of counterfeit cards. And so everything that goes into my store is very carefully examined. And this card here almost got me. And I'm going to show you why. Uh, but I want to first just kind of share with you my journey of... Um, how I first noticed that there's something wrong with this card. So, but as you can see, it came in a box that says Broadcon on it. Uh, looks very legit. You know, I'm gonna show you all sides of this box. So you can see that. Um, I have other cards uh, that are genuine um, LSI cards or Broadcon cards that come in a box that almost looks just like this. Here's the side. And you'll see that it says 9305-24i. That's the card that's inside. And this side has nothing. This is nothing on this side. And uh, well, here I'll just show you nothing on that side. And on the back, there are a couple stickers here. One with the uh, serial number and the what's called the assembly number. And, and that seems like a legitimate uh, assembly number. And then there's the sticker that uh, says it was made in China uh, July 2022 and there's a couple of things that are not right with that sticker but I actually didn't notice that at first when I got this because you know just looking at it from here it's like oh you know looks pretty legit so I opened it up and by the way this is not the first time opening it up obviously um, but I did kind of put everything back the way it was so just to kind of uh, reshare that experience with you guys so I opened it up and I see a uh, ESD clamshell with the card in it sitting like this. And this kind of made me pause just for a moment because normally these cards that are legit from Broadcom don't uh, sit on the top shelf of this box. So down here is a compartment. And if you open this, right, there's a compartment down here. This is where you, the card usually is located on all the other Broadcom cards that come in a box like this. And this flap here is not folded like this, but rather kind of like this. And then on top, usually there's a couple of pieces of paper that are, um, you know, Broadcom documentation, you know, warning uh, paper documents and stuff like that or whatever that go on top here. And the card is usually down in here. So that gave me a little pause. Um, but you know who knows maybe somebody had opened this and didn't know how to put it back and and then the other thing was that this clamshell Doesn't look like there's there's a couple different models of these uh, Clamshells for PCI cards. This is a nice clamshell for what it is But this is not typical of the design that I see uh, Broadcom using uh, For delivering their products. Okay, so that was also a little bit off-putting and there are stickers here that, you know, say the model number and the serial number, and that is pretty legitimate. That That is what Broadcom does. Like if you get a genuine Broadcom card, there's a sticker on the clamshell that matches um, the serial number to the card and to what's on the box back here. There's a serial number here on the box, right? So all those are matching, and, and they are matching. Like if you look at the serial number here, uh, let's see if I can show it to you. It ends in, let's say, 36... One zero, right? So that says three six one zero, right? And so that matches. And if you look at the box, it says um, ends in three six one zero. So that seems uh, pretty legitimate so far. Uh, so at this, at the point um, when I first opened this, at that point I was feeling a little uncomfortable. There was just, you know, a couple of signs that were a little bit off. And uh, and then as I'm digging into this, I, I just started finding a lot of signs that were like wrong. 
and then uh, I'm gonna give uh, tell you guys a little bit more about the kind of the ultimate sign that this is completely wrong. Um, but okay, so at that point I'm like, hmm, interesting. Let's open up the card, right? So so I open up the clamshell and I'm looking at the card. And at first sight, um, it looked kind of okay. Uh, but I'm gonna actually point out, I'll compare this to a legitimate card and you're gonna see uh, several differences. Uh, one thing that I liked was that they had these individual uh, labels on the ports. And I've noticed that some of the other counterfeit cards that I've found, uh, maybe in the interest of saving time, they just make like one big label and just like stick, you know, one label across all the ports. You know, I don't know if that's a legit thing or not, but at least I've, I've noticed that in some of the other cards that are more obviously um, counterfeit cards. This one really is not um, so obvious just yet. But one thing I did notice immediately is that over here, you see there's a little cutout in the heat sink there. So there's supposed to be a plastic bracket there that holds down this heat sink and is screwed into that uh, screw or it's held down by that screw and that's missing, right? And this is supposed to be a brand new card. If it was a used card, I could kind of see, um, you know, maybe someone changed the bracket and lost that little plastic bracket and never put it back on. But, uh, as, and as you can see, it's not there either, right? So, so now I'm starting to get uh, more concerned. So I turn the card around and I see the serial number right here, right? So you guys can see that. Okay, and uh, it looks sort of like a legitimate serial number, but the thing that really kind of triggered me, uh, you know, kind of basically said, okay, there's something really wrong here, was that the, the serial number sticker is not supposed to be there. Okay, so if you look at the rest of the, uh, the PCB here, you'll see that there's a little rectangular box that says tracer, right? And that's where the serial number sticker is supposed to be. So, okay, now, now I'm genuinely um, worried that this is not a legitimate card. All right, so I'm wondering, like, why is the serial number sticker there? That doesn't make any sense. All right. <clears throat> so I've been thinking about how to uh, explain this to you guys because... Um, I've been thinking about this and I, I want to share this with you guys because if you're out there shopping, you know, if you, even if you're not shopping from my store and you're just, you know, out, out in the wild looking for these things and you want to make sure you don't get a counterfeit card, I want to share information with you guys, uh, that will help you uh, avoid the counterfeiters. But I also don't, I know the counterfeiters are watching, you know, YouTube videos, so I don't want to give out too much information that would give those people an advantage, the people who are making cards like this an advantage. So I have to be very careful about what I say here. But at this point, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very, very suspicious of this card. And the, the primary reason is because of the serial number. Okay, so this serial number is SPC561360. And although that serial number is, you know, consistent on the packaging and on the clamshell and everything like that, okay, uh, I don't want to give away too much, but I will tell you that that serial number has information encoded in it. And the information encoded in it tells me a couple of things. Okay, one of the things that it tells me is that this card uh, should not be manufactured in China. Okay, but as you saw earlier, the sticker on the back says country of origin, China. Okay, so Broadcom encodes their uh, factory information, like where the card is, is manufactured into the serial number. And this is not a legitimate serial number for a Chinese factory. Okay, so that's one thing that's immediately like, okay, that's really strange. And so here's the thing that, that this is why I think they have the serial number sticker here. Uh, let me go get uh, a little knife or something and remove that one second here. <clears throat> Sorry, I wasn't really prepared to do this video. Um, 
All right, so I'm gonna take this sticker off. Okay, so I don't really know why they went to the effort to cover assembled in China. Okay, that's basically why the sticker was here. Because again, this serial number, okay, has encoded information in it. And I'm not going to get into details because I really don't want to give the counterfeiters an upper hand here. Uh, so I'm not going to explain how that information is encoded in the serial number. But this serial number is not a Chinese factory serial number. And it was deliberately put here to cover up the assembled in China part, I think. Okay. So, uh, and so normally the serial number sticker would be over here in the box that says tracer. So I'm like, okay, you know, definitely very suspicious at this point. And, uh, here, let me just put the sticker back on, you know, the way they had it. Okay. So at this point, I'm hundred percent certain this is not a legitimate card. All right. And so now I'm, you know, basically looking at scrutinizing it even more. I want to find out all the things that, um, are, um, you know, identifiable is showing like what the differences are, right? Like, well, that's one of the things you guys always ask me when you're asking me like, Hey, how do I know if uh, a card is counterfeit or not? And, and unfortunately I don't, I don't really want to tell you how to decode, um, that serial number. Um, you know, I've worked with Broadcom before, so I know their internal encoding system for the serial numbers. I'm not going to disclose that here, but I will tell you that that serial number says uh, not made in China, all right? Uh, the other thing uh, that's encoded in that serial number is a manufacturing date. And I'll tell you that um, these counterfeiters are up their game, obviously, right? So, uh, you know, there's a lot here that's like, wow, like, you know, could have fooled me. But um, the date encoding is completely um, incorrect. Like it's an invalid date. It's a date that doesn't exist. Okay, so obviously the the people who are generating these uh, invalid serial numbers don't really understand how that works, um, and I don't want to help them in that regard. So, but there's information encoded in that, and one is the factory code, and the other one is the manufacturer date, and and neither of those are legitimate or correct in the serial number. Okay, so all right. So, um, yeah, so anyway, uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm already convinced this is definitely not because just because the serial number is total bogus. Uh, but I want to show you guys what else is different here. And, um, I have with me a legitimate Broadcom, um, card, the same exact model, the 903524i. Uh, okay. And so now I want to show you guys a comparison between the two. And there's a couple of things that immediately stand out. So obviously, okay, let me just kind of point out, you know, the bracket I was telling you about earlier, it's this black thing right there, right? So there's usually a little black plastic bracket that holds down the, um, the heat sink, the, this um, rear end of the heat sink and is uh, screwed on um, on each of those sides, right? And so that, that was missing, right? Okay. Now the other thing, now that I'm certain this is counterfeit, um, look at the heat sink. You can see that the, uh, you know, there's some machining done to cut the fins off here. And you can see how it's kind of roughly done. Like you can see the machine marks, right? And the same thing with this cutout. And I don't even know why they bothered to make this cutout because they didn't include the bracket here, but the cutout here, also is very roughly machined, right? Like, I don't know, maybe d even done by hand or something like that, you know? Um, here's a legitimate one. And you can see, look, just look at the, um, where the pins are, the uh, retention pins. It, it is machine cut. If you look closely enough, it might not come through in the camera, but um, if you look closely enough, you can tell that there's been some machining done there, but it is very, uh, it's a very high quality finish compared to this one. Right. See that? See the difference? Yeah. So this is a legitimate card. This is a counterfeit card. And you can tell that the heat sink um, 
manufacturing quality is different. And you know, I, I don't know what it is. That's one of the biggest giveaways. And I probably should have noticed that first when I looked at this card. Uh, almost all the counterfeits, they, I don't know, they, they decide to cut costs in uh, manufacturing of the heatsink. You know, that's just like the thing to do if you're counterfeiting these cards. I don't know why. I mean, maybe that's a big portion of the manufacturing costs. I, I don't know. Um, in, if you go back and watch some of my other videos talking about counterfeit LSI cards, you know, it's like the heatsink is smaller. It has less fins. Um, they use plastic pins instead of brass, whatever. Like it's, you know, the, the heatsink is lighter. You know, that's one of the things they always cut costs on to make these counterfeit cards. Right, so you can see the difference, right? Okay, so uh, let me put that aside. So now I'm starting to dig in. I'm like, okay, you know, this counterfeit, obviously, okay, missing bracket, manufacturing quality of the heat sink, definitely um, a giveaway. And uh, obviously the, you know, serial number not being in the proper place. I think that could be one of the indicators of, of uh, you know, um, being a counterfeit card and, um, uh, and you guys, you know, if you don't know, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. I, I feel very conflicted. I, I, I want to tell you guys how to read these serial numbers, but don't want to give that away to the counterfeiters. Okay. But anyway, all right, let's, let's move on. So now I'm digging in. Right. And, uh, one thing that I started going back, uh, and I, I probably should have noticed this from the beginning, but okay. So this sticker here, I mean, it looks almost legitimate. I mean, okay, you know, it has the, all the information, okay? Um, the model number is 25699, and that's actually correct for this model, okay? But what's wrong with this sticker, okay? This is uh, supposedly manufactured in July 2022, right? That's what it says right there, okay? LSI Corporation was acquired by Broadcom or Avago Technologies, uh, several years ago, okay, they don't identify themselves as LSI Corporation as it does says right here, okay? So uh, that should have been a giveaway, you know, but if you're not paying attention, you don't have something else to compare. I, I've got so many Broadcom cards here, like, you know, I have several of these boxes legitimate from Broadcom, and and uh, some of the older ones will say Avago Technologies, and, uh, and some of the new ones, I think, will say Broadcom, but... Uh, they haven't referred to themselves as LSI Corporation in probably over a decade. And so this being a uh, only a couple of years old, supposedly, you know, based on if you take uh, take that manufacturer date for face value, um, they shouldn't be calling themselves LSI Corporation. So that was another giveaway. OK, and they say that it was manufactured in July 2022 and the date encoding in that serial number is completely uh, incorrect. Okay, so yeah, this one almost got me. Uh, it, it looks pretty good, I, I, I think, you know, at least first glance. And, and I can imagine that um, if you're not familiar with this stuff uh, and you're not handling like thousands of these things like I do, you know, you could get fooled by that. Okay, so uh, anyway, if you're out there shopping for one of these cards, uh, beware. You know, here are some of the signs uh, that I, I at least I think I can share with you that you can look for. You know, so manufacturing quality of the heatsink, missing bracket, uh, serial number sticker not in the right location. It should be where the box, uh, the, the box that says tracer. So if you see an empty box uh, that says tracer, that's where the serial number sticker should be. Okay, and um, you know, even if it comes in a legitimate Broadcom box, uh, if it if it res refers it to itself, the registrant here as LSI Corporation, I think that's a bad sign. Okay, so anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys, and hopefully that helps some of you guys out. Uh, but again, if you guys want to get legitimate uh, Broadcom LSI cards, you know, go check out my store. I'll leave a link down in the video description. Uh, and that'll support this channel as well. So um, go check that out. All right. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye-bye.